Welcome back to the channel. Right, today we're playing Lunacy Saints. Right. That's all I've got for you at the moment. Ring, ring. Hello? Hello? Hello, Mr. Rhodes. My name is Roy Millard. I work for the Wellsmith Police Department as a homicide detective. According to our records, you are the sole inheritor of the Rhodes Mansion, which is located in the town of St. Rhodes. Well, thank you, you very much. You completed the takeover of the property. Oh, um, this is news to me. I, I hadn't been informed about inheriting any property. Just gone. I see. Send me three thousand fucking quid. The problem is, we've discovered a connection between your we'll house and the out, previous yeah. case I investigated almost ten years ago. I need you to come to the Wellsmith Police Station to provide some information and grant authorization to search the building. When you arrive, you can also sign some legal paperwork to formalize your ownership of the property. Sure, I can do that. Uh, but I'd like to view the property first. Okay then. I'll be on my way to the town right now. Let us meet at the mansion entrance. All right, detective. Oh, am I? I'll be there in uh, a Never. few hours. Okay. See you then. You go. Look around. Walk. Oh, I've got some glasses. I got a tree, a family tree. I got books open that shit up. There's something oddly familiar about this strange symbol. All ripped out. Close that shit. Exit that. What else have I got? Flashlight. We'll equip that shit. There we go, look at that. Read. George Rhodes. It's late. Had to take the scenic route thanks to that damned road work. Keep out. No, more gaff now, you prick. Now, oh, the cart or some shit. Old carriage from back in the day. Oh, dear. Interact with the door. Another wheel. Find your way through the village. I need to look for shelter from the rain before I catch cold. Fucking 
fucking soaked. An old bicycle. I say old, I think this is set back in the day, ain't it? So, not really old for the game. Anyone home? I have some lit candles. Yes, so. not. This is a lighter. the missing journal page okay I know folks might call me wicked for saying this but I gotta tell the truth I'm actually happy to hear that Edward Rose had gone missing people thought he was a great guy but I knew he was behind all the evil stuff that's been happening in our town I even think his dad started it all and died horribly in an explosion and when Edward came Thing has just got even worse. Now that he's gone, my family and I can finally move into the mansion with Dorothy, Frank, Lillian, and take care of Harry without being afraid of what Edward might do to us. Well, that's shit, isn't it? for now. Thing. William Anderson's letter to Simon. Dear Simon, I've been really messed up lately because of what has been going down at St. Rose Mansion. You know how much I hate those roads, folks. 
They're so focused on material things that it's like they're rotten from the inside out. They totally ignore God's teachings and ended up serving evil. If you could hear the creepy songs they sing in the pitch black nights, you'd know I'm not crazy. My uncle was always a Rhodes admirer and he never let me speak out against them. But now that he's gone, I can finally break my silence. I'm gonna call the cops and tell them everything, everything I know about the messed up things those Rhodes people are doing. It's the last time. It's the last I can do. Sorry, it's the least I can do. For my mom, who suffered because of them. William Anderson. Peter? E. There's a man gate. Oh, there's the Anderson gap. Oh, I'm at House of Andersons. That's where I am. I've got to get to the roads house. So, okay. Got to get the back door somewhere. Missing villagers. A formal inquiry into the disappearance of 13 villagers who have been missing for the past two years is necessary. The residents of St. Rhodes have spoken out about the long-standing disappearances of their family members. We haven't heard anything about them since they were gone, said one woman, whose uncle, 48, and cousin, 35, are among the missing. What's this one, sir? 600-year-old artifacts unearthed near the town of St. Rhodes. Archaeologists have determined that mysterious wood-carved artifacts discovered in a site near the town of St. Rhodes in northern Wellsmoth were not tools. The almost 600-year-old violin-shaped artifacts may really be crudely fashioned figurines that represent dead family members and were most likely a part of sophisticated ancestor worship that entail the ritualistic burying and exhuming of the dearly departed. Next one is strange lights in the forest. According to multiple eyewitnesses, there have been strange lights in the infamous archaeological site for the past four weeks. This site is located on the steep slopes of the Devil's Clench. That sounds a bit rude, doesn't it? A rugged rock formation close to the town of St. Rhodes. According to the claims, those lights were ritualistic in character. The place is almost impossible to access at this time of year due to seasonal issues, which prevents the police from looking into the matter. A thorough investigation is to be conducted as soon as the region is free of regular torrential downpours, Sheriff Johnson assured us. The last one is 
Concerns over the resurgence of local cults were sparked after the World Administration's, Administration's Animal Husbandry and Forest Department discovered 63, 94 animal, oh, drop my coaster, discovered 63, 94 animal carcasses near a pond that is near, nearby the community of St. Rhodes. Five samples of birds have been sent. The Animal Disease Investigation Section's Diagnostic Laboratory in Northwood Worlds Month. Right. Somebody's collecting information on all the madness. Find the collectible. That's nice. I want to find the fucking way out. Is what I want to do. Is that it up here? Fuck again. Went this way. Oh shit. Willie, son of JL and ML. Loughler. Born 18. 79, died May 1903. Locked. of people and animals and shit. That'd make you get the fuck out of here, wouldn't it? No, sorry, I don't want this place. Stick up your ass. I'm out. Joseph Carter. 18 years old. Missing. Sound geezer. I should find another way. Should sure, fuck up. Just looking. It's 
Time to go this way. What's this way? So if I turn right, it's gonna take me down towards that church at the bottom, yeah? So let's go right. Locked. I should oh, find another one. Of course way. it is. Fucked up gate. Blocked. Metal fucking sheet in crap. We get falling, funneling in goes down here then. What is in here? thing maybe I'll try right again probably block me off oh, what was that then? Alter. Yeah. Just the thought of what might have happened here gives me the chills. Things there as well. to remove the cover before I can check inside the well. Got nothing I can use yet. Go to. That's a shit house, isn't it? Can't keep getting there, though.
It's a little outhouse, guard house, whatever you want to call it. See if I can get this, this little building here first. No. Right in the main house it is then. Let's go in the back. Left the lantern on. Got the key, motherfucker. Very old looking key. Go back to the front. Sheeting and stuff. Locked. 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 Unlocked. Bunny, I'm home. Investigate and discover a means to reactivate electricity. <coughs> Blocked. Old bitch. There's mother. Fuck. Stand down stairs for it.
newspaper. Go and read it. I think he wants me to go through that. What the? Blocked. Upstairs is that? Uh, That's right here. There we are. Bit of fucking eerie music. Blocked. Cock blocked. Blocked. There's no visible keyhole. I can see cables connecting to the door. It looks like it's electrically, electrically locked. locked for some reason. Locked. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there for this first, this first video. Thanks for watching, and uh, catch me on the next one.